For the first time in decades, Boeing is adding a new plane model to its registry, the T-7A Red Hawk, designed and built right here in St. Louis. Five on your side's Tracy Hinson explains why the name is as significant as the plane itself. Red tails. That's what Allied forces called the Tuskegee Airmen, the first black military aviators, flying escort alongside heavy bombers. I think if the Tuskegee Airmen would see us having the red tails painted on, I think they would be very proud and honored that we want to continue and carry on the tradition that they started. In the audience of Boeing's T-7A Red Hawk unveiling, a World War II, Korea, Vietnam veteran, Tuskegee Airman. Retired U.S. Air Force Lieutenant Colonel George Hardy. It's nice to know that we were remembered and whatnot. It's tough back in those days when we went through. The new planes honoring his team's legacy will help train the next generation of airmen. The T-7 is going to be the workhorse uh, for Air Education and Training Command because in less than 10 years, over half, approaching 60 percent, uh, of our combat air forces will be flying fifth generation fighters. This aircraft is going to answer the call for that. The slick plane is a big deal. The world's most advanced trainer, the T-7A Red Hawk. And it's something us St. Louisans can be very proud of. Our workforce here in St. Louis, second to none, has revolutionized the way aircraft are designed and built around the world. The T-7A Red Hawk, digitally designed and made in the STL. Tracy Henson, five on your side. Boeing is currently hiring for 140 jobs in our area, and they're holding a career fair this Saturday.